Did you know that you can customize your live pre-fill links within Salesforce? Well, let me show you how. Hey, Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in at my Jotform dashboard within Salesforce. So if you don't already have your Jotform within your Salesforce, make sure you grab it from the App Exchange. And like I mentioned, this is a really handy feature if you're wanting to create your own links, buttons, automated email sequences within Salesforce. And we can do that with query parameters as well as merge fields. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and use this top form right here, the Acme update. We'll choose to edit the form and we'll head over to publish. Then on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose that pre-fill option. And then we have Salesforce dynamic pre-fill. And of course we have our live pre-fill link right here. We also have those personalized links that we can create. But if I use this live pre-fill link, I'm gonna go ahead and open this in a brand new tab. And let's bring this down just a little bit so that way you can see the top section. So one way that you can do this is we can add those parameters to the end of our URL. So if I head back over and we head to our contacts and let's look at Lacey, I'm gonna copy Lacey's email and I'll head back over here. Now at the end of this URL, all we need to do is we can add a question mark and we can see that it's already populating it for us because I've done this before. We're gonna do email equals and then yes, Lacey at example.com. So as long as you have the question mark email equals and then that person's email, we can hit return. It's gonna automatically populate Lacey's email in the email field, which is gonna automatically populate the rest of the form for us. So that's one way that you can use that pre-fill link automation. But let's go ahead and jump back over. And another way that we can utilize this is, let's say you have a brand new person to your organization and you want them to fill something out. Well, this can trigger an email which has a survey link inside which is automatically pre-filled for them. So in order to do this, I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand side. I'm gonna choose on these nine dots right here. And we can search for email. We're gonna head to our email templates. And you can see we have one right here. Let's go ahead and click on this one. And I'll choose the pencil right here so that we can get a better look at what this looks like. So we can see right here, welcome to the Acme team. Hi, recipient name. That's utilizing those merge fields within Salesforce. We have three curly brackets and then recipient.name inside. And then we would love for them to fill out this survey to help us better their onboarding experience. Now I'm gonna change this over to the source code so we can see. So right here we have the link to that form that we just filled out. And you can see the same thing. We have the question mark, email equals, and then right over here we have another merge field. We have those three curly brackets, recipient.email, and then three curly brackets. And then of course we have the survey right here. We can close it up with that backslash A. But once we get rid of the source, we can see that now that this is a clickable link within Salesforce. So now that we have our email, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And one thing we are going to need is we are going to need this email template ID. So I'm gonna pull this down one more time. So for looking at our URL, this section right here, after it says email templates, this section is our template ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Then we're gonna choose our nine dots again, and then we're gonna head over to flow. Perfect. And we can see we have our send email flow here, but of course you would create your own, but let's go ahead and open this so we can see what this looks like. So we can see that our flow is triggered by a new record. So our contact object, when a record is created, this will start. It's gonna run immediately if we come down here to our email action. It's gonna send the email right down here. We have that email template ID. We want that included. We're gonna paste that here. And then we have our recipient ID. The triggering contact is the contact ID. And it really is as simple as that. As soon as someone is added to your Salesforce record, they will be triggered this email to receive that form so you can better understand how to tailor their onboarding for them. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize the pre-fill link automation, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.